Word by word, read along with your favorite storyteller, Miss Booksy. The Read Along with Miss Booksy app, available now from Cool School. Welcome to Sweets Cafe. The tale of Cinderella and the Royal Meatballs. Hey everyone, welcome to Sweets Cafe. He always has the best stories and he's an amazing chef. I can't wait to hear what he's gonna tell us about today. Hi Sweets. Hi Rosie, what have you got there? It's just the best cake pops Whoa. you've ever tasted in your entire life. <gasps> OMG, I love cake pops. Wow, they look sweet licious. Can I taste one? Sure. Mm. Mm. You have to give me the recipe. Absolutely. What are you making? I'm cooking my famous meatballs. Another one down, only 499 left to go. That's a lot of meatballs. These aren't just your usual meatballs. These are spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs. Royal meatballs? Yep, royal meatballs. Actually, it was Cinderella's recipe. Cinderella, Cinderella. Yup. Did you know it's because of these meatballs that she and the prince got married in the end? No, 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 no. <laughs> she and the prince got married thanks to the glass slippers that she wore at the ball. Glass slippers? When have you ever seen anyone wear glass slippers? I wore glass slippers once, and let me tell you, they were impossible to walk in. Never again. Okay, fine. This is gonna be good. Tell me the real story of Cinderella. Here we go. The tale of Cinderella and the royal meatballs. Pound the table, clap your hands. Off we go to magic lands. Stir the batter, lick the spoon. Hold on tight, we'll be there soon. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella who loved to cook. She kind of looks like me. Hmm, now that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. Cinderella lived with her dad. And every night she made amazing meals for the two of them. Cinderella's dad was kind of sensitive. He would tear up at every little thing. Voila! Roasted casserole flambe stuffed with sweet potato fritters. You've outdone yourself again. <laughs> dad, are you crying again? It's just you're so beautiful and kind and I really love casserole. Now more than anything, Cinderella wanted to go to cooking school so she could learn to be a chef. So she sent letters to apply to every cooking class, culinary school, and apprenticeship in the kingdom. Meanwhile, Cinderella's dad was a little lonely. I'm a little lonely. So one day, he remarried. Cinderella thought that would be good news. Now she would have a new stepmother and two stepsisters to share her delicious dishes with. But she was wrong. What's your favorite type of cuisine? What kind of spices do you like? Ooh, do you prefer stainless steel or cast iron pots? What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, just go get some frozen spaghetti from the store and go put it in the microwave for us. Or get some TV dinners. Those are my favorites. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good. It wasn't good. Turns out they were the worst eaters in the world. Here, guys, I made some chicken nuggets like you asked for. Gimme! Ew! Oh, I baked them instead of fried. Much healthier. Then I infused them with some truffle oil and sweet pepper sauce. Cinderella, start over and follow the directions on the box. They were so mean. And worse, they put ketchup on their carrots. Please be patient. Not everybody has as refined a palate as you do. At least people at culinary school will appreciate my food. One day, Cinderella's father had to go away on a business trip. I'm not going to cry because I'm going to miss you. Here, Dad. I made you a casserole for the trip. Now I'm going to cry. I love casserole. Don't worry, Cinderella. It'll just be a couple of weeks. You'll have fun with your new sisters. I love you. Let's go, children, inside to play. Cinderella, you do all the chores. All right. The next morning, some mail arrived. Howdy, miss. Lots of good news in the mail today. Looks like your daughter got accepted into all these fancy cooking schools. Congratulations. Let me know if she opens a restaurant someday. I'll be first in. Ouch! Line. Too bad, Cinderella. There's just too much work to be done at home for you to be going to some silly cooking school. I can't believe the evil stepmother would do something like that. It's so 
evil? That's the exact word I was looking for. Yup, but listen, something exciting is about to happen. Wait a minute, what's this? An invitation to the Royal Ball. Ah! OMG, OMG, girls, get out of here. The prince is having a competition to see who can make the tastiest meatballs in the entire kingdom. And the winner will get a private dinner with the prince, who just happens to be single. Oh, wow. I'm going to win. No way, I am. Oh, mother, did I get any responses to my applications to cooking school? I'm supposed to find out whether I got in soon. Oh, didn't you hear? The mailman hurt his finger, so he went on vacation. That's too bad. When will he come back? I think in seven years, maybe more. Now excuse me while I get ready for the ball. Weeks went by and eventually it was the night of the royal ball. My meatballs are almost done. Let me go change into my dress and we'll head out soon. Oh, Cinderella, you can't come. The house is a mess. I need you to stay home and wash the dishes. But I can clean later. This house is filthy. You need to vacuum and dust and reorganize all the furniture so the feng shui aligns. But... No buts! Get back to work! The feng shui won't align itself! This stinks! Now my meatballs are all burnt, and there are so many dishes to clean, and they're all having fun without me. I wish I had a fairy godmother to help me. I need some good luck! <laughs> Did somebody say food truck? I actually said good luck, but okay. Wait, I know you. You're Sweets from Sweets Cafe. And you must be Cinderella. How do you know my name? I got your application in the mail. You applied to be my assistant chef and learn to cook. Oh yeah, I never heard back. Our mailman is sick. He's out for seven years. Well, Sweetlicious news, I chose you. What? I got accepted? I can't believe it! Thank you! Since you never wrote back, I came to see what was wrong. My stepmother told me I never got any mail. She must have thrown it away. Sounds like you've got an evil stepmother on your hands. Yeah, I really need a fairy godmother. Well, think of me as a fairy god chef. Yes! Look at all these dirty dishes. Oh, that? No problemo. <laughs> High-powered industrial strength dishwasher! So strong, it's basically magic. Yay! Now that everything is clean, I can go to the ball. But all my meatballs got burnt. No problem! Let's cook a new batch together. First, you're gonna need this. Wow! Now let's make some spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs. Chef. You're welcome. Now I'll drive you to the royal ball. You should probably wear this mask so your stepmother and stepsisters don't recognize you. Good thinking. There's one more important thing. You need to leave by midnight. Why? The magic will run out? He'll turn into a pumpkin? No, you just need to make sure you're home before your stepmother gets back. I don't want to be blamed if you get grounded. Good luck in there, Cinderella. Remember, leave by midnight. Midnight, got it. Thanks, sweets. I'm so excited. Those spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs look so good. They sure do. Okay, time to start working on my sweet, licious garlic bread. What? You can't stop now. It was just getting to the good part. <laughs> the royal contest was about to start. Yeah, that is a pretty good part of the story. Okay, here we go. So Cinderella had just arrived at the prince's royal ball where he was going to judge who made the finest meatballs in all the land. There he is, the prince. Hi there, hope you like it. I hope so too. The prince better like my meatball. I mean, I dropped it on the ground, but I cleaned it off pretty well before I put it back on his plate. Ta-da! Um, your meatballs are not balls. I want it to be creative. Our attention, everyone. The tasting will now begin. <laughs> hmm. Pretty adequate. Good texture, decent taste. 
Presentation could use improvement. Fine sauce. I give it a... A... Hmm. Hmm. I will give it a two, um, three, four. Definitely four. Four for a great effort. Is this a hair? Ew. This wins worst dish of the ball. Mom, I won an award. 8.1 out of 10. 3.14 out of 10. Nice try. Nice texture. Excellent aroma. Hmm. This is the best meatball I've eaten in my entire life. Who cooked this masterpiece? Me. That's it. We have a winner. Come on, everyone. Let's celebrate and have a ball. That was incredible. You're quite a chef. That's why I'm going to culinary school. One day, I'll open my own restaurant. Amazing. I'll be the first in line. In fact, I, I'd like to be your partner uh, in your restaurant. Really? That would be amazing. Oh no, midnight, I'm out of time. I've got to go. I'm so sorry. I loved meeting you. Wait. Oh, you okay? Hurry, sweet! Step on it! So tell me what happened. Did the prince like your meatballs? He loved them. I wish I could stay all night. She left her hat behind. I must find her. I really liked her amazing meatballs. And her. She doesn't end up with the prince? She's never going to become a famous chef? Hey, the story's not over yet. Don't worry. I wouldn't tell you a sad story, would I? I sure hope not. So let's find out what happened. I'm listening. What a night. Yeah, I can't believe I won an award. How could we have lost? Ouch! And who is that girl who won? I feel like I've seen her before. Ooh, the prince is making an announcement. And then after she left, I found her chef's hat which is why I will now travel the kingdom in search of this mystery chef. I know you're out there, and you deserve to be celebrated for your amazing culinary gifts and your amazing dance moves. And I still want to be your partner. Oh my, did you hear that? The prince doesn't know who the mystery girl was. So? So for all he knows, it could be one of you. When he comes to visit our house, you must convince him that it was one of you. What if it was me? You don't be ridiculous. Although, we do know that you're a so-called <coughs> good cook. Make some meatballs, Cinderella. And when the prince comes, my girls will pretend that they cooked them. Oh, okay. All right, girls, the prince is on his way. Now remember, when he tries to put on the chef's hat, make sure you squeeze your head into it. I don't think I can make my head skinnier. Make your head fit. Do you want to be a princess or not? <laughs> hey there. My fairy god chef senses were tingling. You need help? Yes, the prince is on his way right now. And I have to cook meatballs for my sisters to give him. Are you going to make them bad on purpose? Put in some chili powder? No, I couldn't bear to make a bad meal on purpose. Besides, if the prince is going to eat them, I would never want him to get sick on account of me. Good for you, Cinderella. I'm proud of you. If I can't have the prince, I can at least make sure he has a delicious meal. Can you help me make those perfectly delicious meatballs again? At your service. <gasps> He's here. Cinderella, give me those meatballs and then don't come out of the kitchen. Okay. So nice to see you again, Prince. It is I, your mystery chef. Me too. I'm also your mystery chef. Wow, I thought there was just one. Here, give me that hat. Uh, 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 here we go. Let me try. My head's smaller. Here, my two daughters prepared these meatballs that you love so much. These were them, the perfect meatballs. So it was one of you two. <laughs> yup, we're avid chefs. Real foodies. Really? Uh-oh. Whoa, 
Oops, sorry, it was an accident. What was that? Nothing, there's no one else here. <coughs> My throat is a little hoarse. Are you sure? Sounded like somebody is in the other room. <coughs> okay, well if you two are such amazing chefs, I want to see your amazing kitchen. No, don't go in there, stop. You look familiar. <gasps> it's you! It's me! You're the one who made the royal meatballs! You're the one who loved them. Um, I had a little help. Total team effort! She's an amazing chef, and she's going to my cooking school. Cinderella? You're the mystery girl! And you're working with a monkey! Hey, lady, did you throw out an acceptance letter to a cooking school that I sent Cinderella? And on an unrelated note, did you know that opening someone else's mail is a crime? Um, gotta go. Come on, girls. You won the competition. Do you know what that means? Um, you'll be my partner? Nothing would make me happier. Let's make our plans over dinner tonight. Cinderella? Dad? I missed you so much. <laughs> And so, Cinderella and the prince had a private dinner. And it was the first of many, because after Cinderella finished cooking school, they opened a restaurant together and lived happily ever after. A happy ending. Happily ever after. Now, can I get another serving of meatballs, please? And make sure they're meatballs, not meat cubes. <laughs> One meatball dish coming your way. That was so much fun. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next story from Sweets. Bye. Hey, it's me, Miss Booksy. Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you never miss any of my amazing adventures. Can't wait to see you soon for more story time. Hey there, kids. Miss Booksy here with Story Time at Cool School. Today we're revisiting one of my all-time favorite fairy tales. Can you guess? It's Cinderella! <laughs> I've read you a Cinderella story before, but this time we're doing a whole series with chapters! So let's get started. Here we go with Cinderella chapter one. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. Ahem, that's not my real name. That's just what my mean stepsisters and stepmother call me. <laughs> my real name is Ella. Actually, let's begin my story there. When I was Ella and everything was nice and peaceful and lovely. I was an only child, but I had a ton of pets. So when I was little, I was never, ever lonely. Two cats, Sir Bonkers and Lady Blinky, a dog named Patches, a hamster named Spinner, a tortoise named Fudge, a lizard named Elizardbeth, a pony named Pegasus, not a real Pegasus, but that would be really cool, <laughs> and a goldfish named Goldie. Okay, so Goldie wasn't such great company. Moving on. My dad was the greatest dad of all time, seriously. And he told the awesomest bedtime stories ever. And then the big bad wolf said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. And then the little pig squealed, Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. See, he was really good at doing voices. So let's see, my pets were cool, my dad was the best, oh, and our town was super neat too. We lived in the kingdom, excuse me, a queendom of Queen Elaine the First. She put on fabulous tea parties and concerts and musicals, like all the time. <laughs> so yeah, things were pretty great, but I must have been cursed by an evil witch or something because one day my dad told me that he was getting married. <gasps> okay. That's not the terrible part. It would have been awesome if you were marrying Queen Elaine or somebody cool like that, but no way. Somehow he found the meanest lady ever in the history of meanness. But it wasn't his fault, I guess, because at first she pretended to be so nice. Hello there, Ella. Do you like candy? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey. Too late. You snooze, you lose. And those were my two new stepsisters, Gritzel and Oonga. They never even bothered pretending to be nice. Anyway, my dad was duped, and suddenly I had a new family. My stepsisters had a real su casa is mi casa kind of attitude. In other words, they took all my That's stuff. Mine. I want it. Mine! Gimme! Okay, I'm all about sharing is caring, guys, but come on, you can't take all my clothes. 
Here, you can wear this. Then they said they were scared of all my animals. So scared that my dad had to banish them all to the barn outside. Even a lizard bit, she'll get cold. Too scary. But what about Goldie? Come on, all she does is sit there and go. Take her away. They all have to go. I'm sorry, guys. I'll visit you. The great animal exodus wasn't the end of it. Whenever my dad was away, the step monsters would treat me like a servant. I did the sweeping. I did the windows. <laughs> I did the vacuuming. And being big old meanies, Gritzel and Unga constantly made messes on purpose. Whoops. I cleaned nonstop, day in and day out. <laughs> and I was a mess always covered in dust and grime, which led to me getting a new nickname. Ew, Ella, you're all covered in cinders from the chimney. Maybe we should call you Cinder Ella. Cinder Ella. So yeah, Ella. this all lasted a few years. Then my dad left for this big fishing trip expedition thingy. That's when my stepmother decided I should move into the barn. It was cold and dark and a little scary. But I had my animals, and that was nice. Aw, plus some field mice. Hi, guys. <laughs> anyway, my dad wouldn't be gone forever, right? He'd come back and see how mean my step family was and give them the boot, right? <coughs> hey, guys, Cool School has a new store. Book on over at the link below. Life in the barn wasn't so bad. Cinderella had made a nice little room for herself. Being that much closer to the rooster meant I never overslept. And it sure was convenient being able to just roll over and start my chores. <laughs> but I missed my old life, especially my dad. It seems like he had been gone for his fishing trip like forever. Then I heard the awful news. Extra, extra, awful news. Local dad captured by pirates. Yep, my dad had been captured by a gang of pirates. And to make matters worse, my stepmother and stepsisters didn't even seem to care. He'll be fine. Who cares? I can't worry. It gives me wrinkles. Oh, they were the worst. Fine. I'll go find him. Don't be ridiculous. You have to stay here and take care of us. No way. I'm going to go find him and fight the pirates. I'll hire a search party. They'll find him and bring him home. Really? Really. But like... Really, really? Really, really, really? Gosh. Can we stop talking about pirates and like get some breakfast? Yeah, really. Cinder, really? <laughs> oh, fine. With my dad gone so long, things went from very bad to way worse. My stepmother decided it was time for my stepsisters to get married. And of course, I had to help. There were etiquette lessons. The most difficult task was teaching them how to be not terrible. Would you like to go for a walk? You don't have a carriage. Ew, next. Okay, so maybe don't yell so much. Why? Never mind. It was beginning to feel pretty useless. My stepsisters were just big old meanies. Meanwhile, my dad was still out there somewhere with a crusty old gang of pirates. Actually, that doesn't sound so bad compared to these guys. Good thing I still have you guys. <laughs> Good night, Sir Bonkers, Lady Blinky, Patches, Spinner, Fudge, a Lizard Beth, Pegasus, Goldie. <laughs> Good night to you, Squeakers, Pip and Puff Puff. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Rooster. Shh. Save it for the morning. That night, I had a beautiful dream. My dad was home safe and sound. My stepmother and Gritzel and Unga were nowhere in sight. Amazing, I was all dressed up, no more rags. And I had the prettiest slippers. It was almost as if they were made of glass. Ah! <gasps> What's all that racket? Why didn't you wake me, Mr. Rooster? We must get to work immediately. This is so exciting. What's going on? The queen is having a ball and we're all invited. Whoa! I just had a dream that I was dressed up in a beautiful gown. <laughs> just like I was going to a royal ball. That's so funny. That is funny. You in a gown. Get it? Because you wear rags. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Whatever. They're rude. I was used to it. But a royal ball? Now this is exciting. <laughs> Worried by 
by word, read along with your favorite storyteller, Miss Booksy. The Read Along with Miss Booksy app, available now from Cool School. I have to make a dress and my hair. What am I gonna do with my hair? And I have to prepare some witty banter. I haven't been around people, well, people I actually wanna talk to in forever. <laughs> I hope people still like knock-knock jokes. Those are my specialty. My stepmother had said I couldn't go to the ball. Well, I would just have to find a way, wouldn't I? <laughs> I began preparations in secret. My stepsisters went through dresses like they were going out of style, so I had lots of material to choose from to craft a perfect gown. <laughs> a little satin here, a little silk there, some velvet, pearls, and voila! <gasps> the most beautiful dress in the world. Oh. Shoes wouldn't be so easy though. My stepsisters had thrown out all of my shoes back when they first moved in. None of these shoes fit. <laughs> anyway, one day I was cleaning the attic when I found a box that I had never noticed before. <gasps> shoes, these must have belonged to my mom. They were beautiful slippers that looked almost as if they were made of glass, just like in my dream. <gasps> and next to the shoes was the most exquisite necklace I'd ever seen. Everything was coming together perfectly. But it's not like the royal ball was the only thing I was thinking about. Curiously, I hadn't heard anything about my dad. You know, the whole being captured by pirates thing. Supposedly my stepmother was on it, but I just wasn't sure I could trust her. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Harvey Beeswax, private investigator, at your service. Hi, Mr. Beeswax. My dad was captured by a gang of pirates. I need your help. Pirates, eh? Yes, and my stepmother said that she can't find him, but she's done diddly squat. Diddly squat? That's not enough. I know. So, do you think you can find him? It'll be tough, but I'm the best private eye in the city. If anybody can find your pop, it'll be me. Great. I charge three gold bits an hour, plus expenses. Oh, right. Um, money. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Sorry, kid. No money, no detective. Wait! What if I paid you in jewels? Jewels? I like jewels. What do you got? So, I brought my mother's necklace to Harvey Beeswax, private eye. Oh well, at least I still had the dress and shoes. Or so I thought. When I got home, I found this. It's mine. No, mine! Cinderella, who did you make this dress for? Me or Gritzel? Um, it's clearly for me. Blue makes you look like a blueberry. Well, blue makes you look like a, a blue whale. Cinderella, please settle this. I, I, I made it for myself, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Funny joke, right? <laughs> no, not really. Gee, I can't decide who it would look prettier on. Me, obviously. Uh-uh, me. Oops, I didn't like it anyway. Okay, well, let's see. I had started the day with a lovely ball gown, a diamond necklace, and glass slippers. And suddenly I had no dress, no jewelry. Well, at least I still had the shoes. They didn't fit anyway. Welp, back to square one. Hey, it's me, Miss Booksy. Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you never miss any of my amazing adventures. Can't wait to see you soon for more story time. It's finally the day of the ball. And I had nothing to wear. <laughs> what do you think, Pegasus? Could this be shabby chic? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Too casual. Cinderella, come here. <laughs> Ugh, gotta get to work. Meanwhile, hmm, no sign of Cinderella's old man yet, but I'll solve this case. Getting Gritzel and Unga ready was no small task. They required bubble baths. Manicures, pedicures, blowouts. Finally, my stepsisters were ready for the royal ball. You guys look really nice. Um, we know. Okay, well, have a great time. <laughs> Unga, don't yell too much. And Gritzel, remember to say please and thank you. But don't forget to have some fun. That's quite enough talk, Cinderella. Goodbye. I'll be honest. I was kind of sad. I retreated to the bar with some snacks to eat my feelings. I know, it's pretty cliche, but I was sad, okay? And then, I don't know why, but I yelled out, oh, if I only had a fairy godmother. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. What? Hello. Oh. <coughs> 
Excuse me. Frog on my throat. What's up? Did you find my dad? No, not yet. But don't give up, kid. I just came here to scrub for clues. Clues? Here? Yeah, you never know what you might find if you just look. You okay? Me? What? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not crying or anything. Okay. Well, uh, see ya. He left, and I went back to feeling sorry for myself. Why? 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 Mr. Beeswax? Sorry I'm late, sugar, but better late than never, right? Who are you? Your fairy godmother. I thought that part was pretty obvious. Whoa, I thought that was just fairy tale stuff. Cool. A lot of people think that, but I'm real. Watch this. Awesome! I know, right? So, how does this work? Do I get like three wishes or something? Three wishes? What do I look like, a genie in a bottle? Oh, so no wishes? Darling, I'm here to make all your wishes come true. But not all at once. It doesn't work that way. Oh. And some of the wishes will be wishes you didn't even know you wished yet. Say what now? I know what's in your heart, sugar. How? Honey, I'm your fairy godmother. It's fairy magic, you see? All right, so first things first, let's get you ready for the ball. The ball? Yes, I so want to go to the ball. I had a dress and a necklace and shoes, but my stepsisters, they tore everything up. Well, not the necklace. I gave that to Harvey Beeswax, private eye. Long story, but I really, 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 want really- want to go to the ball, yes, I know. And with a wave of my magic wand. Hey guys, Cool School has a new store. Book on over at the link below. Cinderella had just been explaining in detail the recent happenings that she had experienced to her fairy godmother. Yes, dear, I know. You want to go to the ball. So as I was saying, with a wave of my magic wand. Oh, yeah. Like, why wouldn't I want to go? Dancing, candy, disco balls, handsome princes, hopefully chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. Okay, hold the phone, honey. We can't have you going to the ball looking like this. Ah, uh, rude. Well, I just mean, you, you look, uh, like a mess. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You just don't look like a princess, that's all. Okay, listen, fairy GM, I think you need to quit while you're ahead and just help a sister out. Right, so what's your favorite color? Blue, bluish aqua, turquoise, um, aquamarine, bright blue. Okay, all right, any shade of blue, I get it. With the wave of my magic wand. Yeah. And with all my magical powers combined. Yeah. I will give you the most beautiful, flowy, princessy, sparkly, on sale from Black Friday. Huh? Ball gown. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you think, honey? I love it. Hi, what's this? Oh, nothing, dear. I'm so excited. The prince is deaf gonna wanna juju on that beat with me at the ball. <laughs> uh, you won't be dancing with those tootsies. Uh, yeah, I'm due for a mani-pedi soon. Well, stick your hands out and close your eyes, my little ragamuffin love. Boopy boopy bloody boo These are the bomb! <laughs> Hopefully I won't break them. I'm kind of a klutz. Oh, they fit perfect. <laughs> okay, I better get on my way. Oh wait, pretty sure the castle is like 48 miles away. That would take approximately 864 minutes if I walk, if I hustle. Cinderella, and... get it together. I'm gonna hook you up. Now go get me a pumpkin, spaghetti squash, any gourd or root vegetable ought to do. Uh, no gourds to speak of, but how about this? My Halloween bucket. Well, let me just get it. That'll do, I suppose. Cinderella put the bucket down, and with one more swirl of the magic wand, the bucket became a gorgeous, sparkling carriage. A carriage is kind of like a stroller, but for adults. <laughs> I am gonna look so cool riding up in this thing. <laughs> You're gonna look cool for sure, Cinderella, but you also need to act cool. You simply need to follow my four Fabulous formulas for fetching friends at a farty. 
Excuse me, I mean party. Oh yeah, I could use all the help I can get. Step one, always laugh at people's jokes. Or tell your own. Oh, I've been told I have an amazing laugh. Wonderful, let's hear it. <laughs> all right, that's very distinctive. Uh, maybe just take it down a few notches. Okay, whatever. What's next? Step two, find common interests. Cheese puffs? Oh, those are my favorite snack. Snack, jinx, <laughs> same, I love those. See, we're so similar. <laughs> okay, cheese puffs, got it. Okay, number three, be a dancing queen. Okay, this one is easy. I love dancing. Let me show you how it's done. You go, girl! Do your thing! Whew, I was quite the mover and shaker in my day. Okay, so number four, I'm getting antsy and ready to go. Oh, well, you better get a move on. Um, I'll text you the rest. Sounds great, fairy godmother. <laughs> I'm just gonna be myself and have a blast. Hey, uh, who's driving this thing? My stepmother wouldn't let me go for my driver's license test. I almost forgot. You, over there. And y'all, over here. Well, we're off. <laughs> Thanks so much for everything, Fairy. <laughs> you're the bestest in all the land. Well, you're certainly welcome. This is going to be the best night of my life. Oh, no. I forgot to tell her about the midnight thing. Word by word, read along with your favorite storyteller, Miss Booksy. The Read Along with Miss Booksy app, available now from Cool School. What is wrong with you? You forgot to tell Cinderella about the midnight rule. What were you thinking? Yoo-hoo! Cinderella! The fairy godmother caught up to the carriage and shouted after Cinderella. But clearly, Cinderella was having so much fun, she didn't even notice. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> ah! Oh! You! Uh, you scared me half to death. Cinderella, you can't go yet. Ah! Fairy, you gotta cut the cord and let me go. I'm a grown woman. No, I mean the spell. Say what now? The spell at midnight. You have to be long gone from the royal ball by then. Uh, I have no intention of leaving when the party is still hopping. No, you absolutely must. No. You have to. No. You have to. Cinderella, listen to me. If you don't, then all this magic will wear off. There's always a catch. But don't worry about it. Go, enjoy yourself, just keep track of the time. No problem. I'll set an alarm on my phone. So Cinderella continued on her journey to the castle, super excited and super nervous to meet the prince. You guys, this is gonna be the best night ever! At the ball, Cinderella's having the time of her life! Woohoo! When suddenly she noticed two very familiar but not so friendly faces, her stepsisters. Ah, uh, brother. Or should I say, a sister. <laughs> These two. But the stepsisters didn't even notice her because they were too busy trying to vie for the prince's attention. Oh, by the way, there's the prince. Ooh, Unga, that prince is gonna love my dress. He's totes gonna dance the night away with me. No way, Grits. I'm sure he'll notice my breathtaking eyes and ask me to marry him. Meanwhile, Cinderella was doing her own thing and having so much fun at the ball. Then I told him, that's not a squirrel, it's a hamburger. <laughs> oh, Princey, you look hungry. Let me fetch you a treat. No, I will. Ugh. Cinderella was totally enjoying her night out and away from the barn that she kind of forgot there was a prince at all. Hey guys, who wants milkshakes? Cinderella, you are so much fun. Cinderella, guys, I don't want my stepsisters to overhear that I'm Cinderella. Please, um, please call me Sandy. Sandyrella, yep, that's me. <laughs> Why haven't we seen you around the kingdom before? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, I've just been, um, you guys, oh no, I don't want the people to know I live in a barn and I'm basically a servant. Oh, what were fairies rules again? Oh, yeah, common interests. Cheese puffs, don't you guys love cheese puffs? <laughs> Oh, cheesy, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I love yes. them so yes. much. They're so good. Phew, that was close. So Cinderella got back to the party, but she also started getting a bit sleepy. Woo! I am pooped, but I can't stop now. Who knows when there'll be another royal ball. I'm sure I still got time. But the whole evening, the prince had been noticing the mystery girl, Cinderella, or <clears throat> Sandy-rella. <laughs> 
and how happy she looked and how she was being nice to everyone and ate tons of cake without a care in the world. Whoa, she is a seriously cool chica. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, excuse me, oh, I'm kind of a klutz. Oh, no, no, it was my mistake. Here, let me help you out. So, uh, this is some party. Oh, this old thing? Yeah, my mom goes kind of crazy. Yeah, my dad's kind of crazy, too. He was kidnapped by pirates. Yard. Pirates? Whoa. Yeah, pirates. Do you, you want to dance? dance? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh wait, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh my oh, gosh. gosh. I like your crown. Thanks. I like your dress. Yeah, blue's my favorite color. No way, mine too. Ooh, common interest, bonus. So next week, uh, we're having this mini golf tournament here at the palace. Do you think you want to come? That sounds awesome. Cinderella had wondered how she would sneak away from her stepmother and stepsisters and come back to hang out with the prince, but whatever, she would figure it out. So it's a date, uh, I, I mean. But Cinderella didn't hear the prince because the music had gotten louder and she was feeling the beat. So loud, in fact, that she didn't hear her alarm on her phone ringing. Hey, it's me, Miss Booksy. Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you never miss any of my amazing adventures. Can't wait to see you soon for more story time. What's that noise? Huh? I said, what's that noise? Oh, it's just my phone. <laughs> oh no, my phone. I gotta go. Wait up. I didn't get your name! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, oh no! Wait up! Oh no! Well, it was nice knowing you, beautiful glass slipper, but I gotta go! Wait! You left your shoe! Keep it! Huh? At least the carriage is still. Great. And so, with one shoe, Cinderella walked all the way home, all 48 miles, which took exactly 864 minutes. She wasn't too sad, though. I mean, guys, <laughs> the prince danced with me a ton, and I made so many friends, and I did a conga line, and the limbo, and the robot, <laughs> and I must have had like five pieces of cake. <laughs> it was the best night of my whole life. That happiness lasted all through the next morning, even though her stepsisters were being particularly annoying. The prince is going to ask me on a date. No way! He's gonna ask me. Me. Me! Me! Well, we'll see who he putts with at the Royal Mini Golf Tournament. The Royal Mini Golf Tournament? I almost forgot! And wait, Gritzel and Oonga got invited? Oh boy. Mini golf tournament, huh? Don't worry about it, Cinderella. You're not allowed to go. Why not? Mom, tell Cinderella she can't go to the Royal Mini Golf Tournament. Cinderella, you most certainly cannot go to the Royal Mini Golf Tournament. Ugh, I hope that girl from last night doesn't go. She was the worst. What girl? This girl Sandy or something. She hugged the prince for like a whole hour. So annoying. Gee, <laughs> yeah, I hope she doesn't show up. Cinderella decided she'd better practice her golf swing before the big tournament. Oh, you better believe I'm going. <laughs> I don't know how, but I'm going. Fairy godmother better come through for a sister. I'm gonna need some new duds. <laughs> what do you think, Sir Bonkers? How's my swing? <gasps> <sighs> I guess I need to keep practicing. <laughs> Finally, the big day had arrived. Time to putt. <laughs> Cinderella waited for her fairy godmother to arrive. I wonder what kind of outfit I'm gonna get today. Oof, and I hope I get a new pair of shoes. I love these glass slippers, but I can't golf in just one shoe. I probably need sneakers anyway. Where is she? There she is. Ew. Mom says you have to go with us to the mini golf tournament. Yes! Okay, um, can I borrow a dress or something? I mean, I can't go looking like this. <laughs> you shouldn't go anywhere looking like that. But no, you can't borrow a dress. Unga, please. Cinderella, ugh. No one cares what you look like. We just need you to, like, hold our bags and get us drinks and stuff. Oh. So, like, hurry up. Guys, the prince can't see me like this. 
All right, fairy godmother, <laughs> it'd be super great if you could show up about now. Uh, okay, fine, I'll just go to the prince's palace wearing rags. <laughs> no big deal or anything. Huh? <sighs> hey guys, Cool School has a new store. Book on over at the link below. There she is. The big day of the Royal Mini Golf Tournament had finally arrived and Cinderella was there. Awesome, right? Not so awesome. My fairy godmother didn't show up. And look at me, I'm wearing rags at the palace. You know where the prince lives? Ugh. Meanwhile, my stepsisters are playing miniature golf with said prince. Can my life get any worse? Heads up. Ow, oh, I guess it can. So yeah, Cinderella was pretty bummed. And so was the prince. He had really been looking forward to his mystery girl showing up. Why are you carrying around a shoe? Long story. And why do you keep gazing off into the distance? No reason. Hey, prince, watch me putt. Huh? Oh yeah, that's great. I didn't even swing the club yet, ugh. Sorry. Hey, pretzel. It's Gritzel. Do you know the girl I was dancing with the other night? Nah. -uh. Do you know her? What girl? I didn't see a girl. I have to find her. I must see her again. Oops. Heads up. Hey, do I know you? Eek, the prince. What do I do? Play it cool, Cinderella. Play it cool. Uh, no, not me, mate. You must have me confused with someone else. Uh, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, gotta go. That couldn't have been. Or could it? Great. Just great, I blew it. Uh, Cinderella had really, really, really wanted to talk to the prince, but she panicked. She was sure the prince would just see her in rags and reject her. I mean, princes like princesses, right? Right? So that settles it. I cannot let him know that this is the real me. Hey, Cinderella. Oh, what, uh, who's that? <laughs> Cinder who? <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Beeswax. You got news about my dad? We're getting real close to cracking the case, kid. I got one of my best guys following a pirate ship as we speak. That's great. Uh, what are you doing here? Official palace business. I can't discuss it. But between you and me, the prince has got a crush. Oh, yeah. I mean, sure. Whatever. That's cool. <laughs> Who is it? That's classified, kid. But get this. He doesn't know her name. Go on. Says she showed up at the ball and then she just ran off. Go figure, he thought she'd be here today. But when she didn't show, he called me. So like, what did he say about this girl? I can't really discuss it because I'm a private eye, the key word being private, but he says she's super cool. Yeah. And really funny. Yeah. And a fabulous dancer. She sounds great. <laughs> yeah, but she said she'd be here and she didn't show. Kind of rude if you ask me. I'm sure she has a really good reason. <laughs> we'll see. The prince is a good fella. Hate to see him get his heart broken. Well, gotta get back to work. She could be anywhere. She could be right under my nose. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> well, the good news is the prince obviously totally likes me. Woohoo! <laughs> the bad news is I have absolutely no idea what to do. Several days passed and Cinderella had not heard any news about the prince and his mystery girl. She tried to come up with a plan. Maybe I, no. Well, what if I, no, that won't work. Oh, I got it. I could, uh, no. Cinderella, I need a pedicure. Right now? Yes, now. Me too. Haven't you heard? The prince is going around to every house in the queendom to find his dream girl. Say what now? He has this shoe, and supposedly he's going to marry whoever fits into it. So like, our feet need to look good. Yeah, we need prince-worthy tootsies. The prince is coming here? <laughs> yeah. And one of us is going to become a princess. Yeah. Me. No way. Me. 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 This Me. is going to be interesting. Me. 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 Word by word, read along with your favorite storyteller, Miss Booksy. The Read Along with Miss Booksy app, available now from Cool School. Cinderella was so nervous. The prince was coming to her house. Oh, man. Fairy Godmother, if there was ever a time when you need to help a sister out, it's now. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? She tried rubbing a lamp. What? It worked for Aladdin. 
She tried wishing on a falling star. No stars. Shoot. And finally, Cinderella tried to conjure her fairy godmother with a magical spell. Blippity, bloppity, blob. Blurpity, blap. Madgagis, fairious, godmotherist, come it now. If. She's here. Yay. Hello. Official royal business. Open up. Oh, no. The prince is here. Let me try on that shoe. Me first. No, me. One at a time, ladies. One at a time. Hi, Princey. Remember me? Sure, yeah. Hi, Pretzel. It's Gritzel. Uh, looks like it doesn't fit. Sure it does. Perfect. I've never worn such a comfortably fitted shoe. And there are no other ladies in the house? No. Nada. No siree, Bob. Wait a second. Doesn't Cinderella live here? Cinder who? Never heard of her. There's another girl here? Please, fetch her at once. Your Highness, the other girl was not at the ball. I can promise you that. She lives in a barn. She's totally yuck. Nah, she's a lovely girl. I'll get it for you, Prince. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Mr. Beeswax. The Prince wants you to try on a shoe. He's still after that mystery girl. Oh, I can't go out there. I know you weren't at the ball, but it'll just take a minute and it'll make the prince happy. No, like, I really can't go out there. I'm a mess, beeswax. <gasps> what Unga said is true. I'm totally yuck. <laughs> what? You're a cutie. Come on. Okay. Now I really, really, really wish I had my fairy godmother. <gasps> Nothing? Come on! Hey, you look awfully familiar. Yeah? <laughs> I'm, um, uh, supposed to try on a shoe? Try not to stink it up. Well, what do you know? It fits! It's you! O-M-G! No way! Your Highness, I assure you, she was not at the ball! Well, actually, I was. <laughs> Super long story, but I really wanted to go and you wouldn't let me. But then my fairy godmother showed up and oh yeah, apparently I have a fairy godmother. <laughs> anyway, she showed up, waved around her magic wand and I got a dress and shoes, these shoes. Well, the other one's in the barn, but <laughs> anywho, then I went to the ball and I met the prince. <laughs> No big deal. <laughs> fairy godmother? There's no such thing as a fairy godmother. Sorry I'm late, Cinderella, but your fairy godmother is at your service. <gasps> hey, it's me, Miss Booksy. Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you never miss any of my amazing adventures. Can't wait to see you soon for more story time. Where were you? I needed you. I'm so, so, so sorry, honey. I've been at a fairy magic conference and these trolls crashed the party and it was just a huge old mess. Anyway, what's up? Oh, that's the prince over there. <gasps> oh, he's cute. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a mess, but they made me try on the shoe and of course it fit. <laughs> well, that sounds like a good thing. But now he knows I'm not a princess. This is terrible. <laughs> Cinderella, can you tell us what's going on, please? Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, well, um, this is my fairy godmother. Fairy godmother, this is everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. How you doing? Hello. And now, with a wave of my magic wand, I will transform raggedy ragamuffin Cinderella here into a beautiful princess. Finally. <laughs> Wait. Huh? You don't have to change a thing. Cinderella, I like you for you. You do? Ew. You don't need a fancy dress or shoes or... Um, hold up. Uh, that's really nice and everything, but if my fairy godmother wants to hook me up with some new duds, then I'm a letter. <laughs> oh, right. Fair enough. Okay, fairy godmother, work your magic. Bloopity blabadoo. I'll grab the other shoe later. <laughs> now me. No, my turn. Sorry, girls. A fairy godmother can only have one fairy goddaughter. No, no fair. fair. They'll get over it. <laughs> so it was you the whole time, huh? Right under my nose. Oh, don't worry. You're still my favorite private investigator. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. With all the shoe trying on, hubbub, I forgot to tell you. We found your dad. You did? Yeah, my guy called me this morning. He's on the ship of Pirate Krusty Beard. Well, what are we standing around here for? Let's go rescue Cinderella's dad from the pirates. <laughs> Arrgh! What are you doing on my ship? We're here to save my dad, you crusty old pirate. Well, you don't have to be rude. Oh, sorry. 
My girl! Dad! Who are you guys? Harvey Beeswax, private eye. I'm her fairy godmother. I'm the prince, and may I just say, I like your daughter, sir. Long story. <laughs> no time for stories. It's time for you to walk the plank. Ah, pirates! I almost forgot. <laughs> Allow me. Zippity zamaboo ta ta and bye bye Yay! Okay, let's pause for a second, because you're probably thinking this day couldn't get any better, right? I mean, the prince found me, my fairy godmother finally showed up and gave me some new princessy clothes, and now my dad had been rescued from the pirates. Talk about a good day. <laughs> but then it got even better. Get this, when we got home, Beeswax put my evil stepmother in the slammer. Turns out she hired the pirates to take my dad. So evil, right? Anyway, it was pretty much everybody lived happily ever after fairy tale kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, and we decided to let my stepsisters stick around, but they were a lot nicer now that I was a close personal friend of the prince. <laughs> they even started doing their share of the chores.